Well, I want to share with you some of the uh, varieties of figs I have grown in this yard. And this one right here, a real special one, is called the blackjack fig. It's a very large black fig. Looks like a mission fig, but it's much bigger. This is a sport of a mission fig, as a matter of fact. So-called dwarf plant, although it's pretty vigorous. It takes some pruning to keep it in this nice compact shape. Um, this plant roughly is about, uh, let's say, eight years old. It's been in this container for about three years. Um, we've eaten the breber crop. That's the early crop that's gone. We've got a huge main crop that's set on this. We'll be eating that in roughly about, say, four to five weeks. Um, this is at a 22 inch can. Uh, we drilled some uh, channels into the uh, soil and poured some gravel in there, there this year to allow good moisture penetration into the center of the root ball because these, as you can imagine, these roots get really, really heavy when they're confined to these cans for a long period of time. The longer a tree has been in the container, the more dense the uh, root system gets. And uh, it gets very difficult for water to penetrate into the center of the root ball. So every so many years on these older plants, I like to come in and actually take and create channels where water can penetrate into the center of the root and uh, you can saturate that root ball real good. I start with a 5 8 to 3 quarter inch rod. And then I just simply create a channel by hammering it into the root ball all the way to the bottom. And then that, thereby just creating a channel where I can take and, and pour in a material that will keep the root ball open and allow water to get in during each watering. And I take this gravel. Um, just a small pea-sized gravel and um, we're going to take and uh, just go ahead and put it directly into the hole. There we go. And a little bit more. Fill it up. Fill it up right to the top there. There we go. Till in the end we got one, two, three, four channels for water to get down and get down and really saturate the center of that root ball and keep this tree nice and nice and healthy. Blackjack fig, man, this is a wonderful piece of fruit. Great little tree and wonderful to have on your patio. Show you a couple more too. As you guess, this is another one of my favorites. Uh, this is the XL fig. Uh, this is a blonde fig or a yellow fig. Um, has a wonderful taste. It's actually a substitute for the Kodota because the Kodota has trouble ripening in places that have shorter fall seasons. So for instance, where it gets cold, say in the latter part of, of September, you may have trouble ripening a Kodota, but the XL will do fine. It's a great coastal variety. This is just one of the best of the blonde figs. Um, it has a great breeder crop, so we've had an early crop on it. We've been eating that. We've eaten it all, gone, all off, and now we have a wonderful main crop that's left. Um, this tree I'm probably going to bring back pretty hard this season because it's vigorous. It likes to grow tall, so cutting it back, um, it takes a little bit of, of extra work. Uh, we also drilled uh, channels into this to uh, get that root ball opened up. It's in a 20-inch container, so this one actually could be shifted next year, maybe into a 22. Um, great variety, the XL fig. Definitely another favorite, the uh, Flanders fig. Now this one I've been a little bit of ag aggressive with because it is a vigorous grower. Actually when I began this, uh, growing this fig, I cut it off roughly at about 10 to 12 inches uh, tall. So this has a very, very nice low stature. Flander, Flanders fig is kind of a tan fig with a uh, purple stripes. Um, 
wonderful, wonderful flavor. Not so well known, but uh, this is an Ira Condit, Condit variety, and he's famous for so many varieties and introducing so many varieties of wonderful figs. This is a great vase shape. It's beautiful. It's been really growing very, very well in this uh, 20 two-inch container, so it's a little larger container. Um, this is a big fig. It gets tan with purple stripes and uh, has a wonderful flavor. I mean, this is one that you just should not ignore. Um, I also drilled the uh, channels in this root ball to get that good moisture penetration down into the center because this tree is roughly about eight years old in these containers as well. So a uh, great variety, the Flanders fig, um, wonderful in the patio too. I wanted to point out this uh, this nursery container here that I've actually sprayed uh, painted green, forest green, to um, just to kind of give it a better look. Um, sometimes it's difficult to find these larger pots for these bigger specimens. Uh, the nurseries will always have these bigger cans available, and uh, you spray paint them with a uh, nice green or whatever color you choose for your deck, and uh, they uh, they look pretty good. <laughs>